Hello again, everybody. This is Craig Evans of Autism Hangout, and thank you for tuning into this Autism Hangout special report. You know, some people are just given an extra helping of compassion, along with the ability to serve others in multiple ways. Today's guest is a speech and language pathologist. She's also the host of Autism Today TV. She's an expert on apps with a book on the subject, Apps for Autism by Jessica Kingsley. And she's back today to discuss her newest AAC app, Inner Voice, Autism Hangout. Please welcome back today's guest, all-round wonderful human being, Lois Brady. Welcome, <laughs> Lois. It's nice to see you again. Well, thank you, Craig. It's always great to be here. I enjoy um, coming to Autism Hangout. Well, I, having me. I, I especially had to throw in that last part because all of the things you're doing for our special kids in the realm of autism and so many of the things you're doing professionally, but I also know that you're doing these things personally because you have a calling for this. Thank you. It's... it's um, it's fun for me. I enjoy doing it. I really do. Let's get into this app. Uh, two, three years ago, if we were to talk about AAC apps, there'd be a handful of them out there. And today there's a whole bunch of them out there. So what would motivate you as an app specialist to come out and actually develop one on your own? Yes, I work with students four days a week. And mm -hmm. there are two fundamental problems that I've seen with the AAC apps. Mm -hmm. The first one is engagement. Many of my students were still having difficulty engaging with the AAC app itself. They will engage with the iPad, no problem, it's high, high, high motivation, but parents tell me during IEPs that, oh my gosh, at home I can't get them to use it. Mm. Number one. Number two is price. I still get, oh my gosh, even though they're not $10,000 anymore, mm -hmm. still 200 is a lot of money for many families. Mm. Um, so they finally scraped together $200 mm -hmm. and now the student won't use it or their child won't use it. So there's two fundamental problems that I really tried to solve with this um, and that was engagement. Mm -hmm. And I think by putting the animated avatar there, we um, combine powers with Motion Portrait who animates photos. So we're using just plain photos and they, they look realistic and this really grabs the child's attention and not only the child's attention but anyone he's trying to talk to, thus making the communication environment kind of um, electric and fun and oh my gosh everyone gathers around. And then number two was price. We really, really tried to keep it down to affordable so that school districts and parents could get it. So the price is $19.99, and if you get it in the next couple of weeks, it's only $9.99. I know this is based on self-video modeling, kids actually looking at themselves speaking. Can you talk to that a bit? Absolutely. So um, you can import avatars. We have um, four avatars. I'm going to show you the avatar page. Um, I've imported a couple. I think I even got you here. Me? Where are you? Here, here you are. <laughs> and then I'm going to say done. And then we can um, actually have you uh, talk here for us. Hello, welcome to Autism Hangout. <laughs> so we put your picture in there and had you say hello, welcome to Autism Hangout. Um, we have many more pictures. Some of my favorites are, um, of course, here's Larry from the Three Stooges. He is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, we can give a, we can have him say something basic from the basic vocabulary. Um, these are for kids who are just now learning, so there's not a lot of words in here. There's just the words that we found that they use every single day so much. Um, we all start off with the I want, I want. and then to go... Um, I want to take a walk. Mm -hmm. So we can have them say many different things, and like I said, there are three vocabularies, a basic, mm -hmm. a core, and then you can build your own. You can put as many folders, buttons, whatever you want in there. So, so it will work for many different students, many different ages, and across disabilities. Okay, so it's highly customizable. Let's talk yes. about this video modeling thing, though. If a child puts their own picture in there, how do they respond to watching themselves speak? It's, um, it's amazing to watch them. Initially, they may not even understand it themselves. But then you see this look of, oh my God, that's me, come over their faces and the huge smiles. Um, and then they, they start to want to play with it. And then they, they want to engage with it. Mm -hmm. um, what I do is I give my students a choice of 
all the ones that are there plus their picture because some students may not even like their own pictures they're they're just kind of little um mm -hmm. unfamiliar with it mm -hmm. so they always get choices i don't i don't automatically say this is you you have to use your own picture so whatever is more motivating for them okay one last feature that i did not get to mention yes we have um, what we call remote prompting on this app and um i can send a message from my iphone to the app and it will speak the message so if you have a child who has difficulty with language such as echolalia mm -hmm. and you go to them and you say what's your name and they say what's your name and you say well my name is lois and they say my name is lois and you get trapped in that loop mm -hmm. you can actually um text over a message and it will say what you've texted over so if i go to a child and i say well what's your name i can text over the answer my name is Lois. And now they have something to say that isn't the exact same thing you said. Oh my so gosh. we've included that. It's called remote prompting. So you can go to the website and read all about that and the research behind that. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a yeah. that's a fabulous feature. Now I also know too that this app, this Intervoice, has been noticed and awarded by Menza. Can you talk Menza. about this recognition? Yes, that was very exciting. Even before the app was made. Um, my co-developer, Matt Gugamos, um, submitted the patent to Mensa, the um, community education award, and oh my gosh, he got it. So he actually patented this technique um, and won a Mensa award for it. I'm not a member of Mensa myself. <laughs> what is this autism hackathon that you have, you have talked about here? Last spring and summer, we were lucky enough to have two hackathons here. I went to both of them. I just couldn't stay away. All these people come together, they form teams, and you create an app. So um, the first one we placed third, and the second one we placed first. This app is, is kind of a culmination of those hackathons, plus motion portrait, mm -hmm. plus um, our, our patents. I've got a feeling there's going to be more apps from you in the near future. Is that, is that true? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Well, let's talk back about Intervoice. It's going to be on sale here for a short term for $9.95. Where can people go to get more information about Intervoice? We have a website. We got that up and running. It's intervoiceapp.com. Mm -hmm. And um, it'll give you all the information you need to know about video self-modeling. Video self-modeling is, is an evidence-based and it is the highest form of modeling. Lots of research coming out these days mm -hmm. on how the iPad is, is effective for our students. Mm -hmm. So it's really very, very evidence-based. Even though it kind of seems fun and like a toy, it's not. It's got lots of science behind it. Mm -hmm. And for the parents and the teachers that are already savvy with these apps, can they buy this at uh, iTunes? Yes, right on the iTunes store. You just go in and um, right now, like I say, it's $9.99. Um, it was only supposed to be $9.99 for a week, but we, we're going to leave it running for um, probably a couple more weeks. That's very generous of you for the introductory yes. offering. Lois, it's always a delight to have you here. Thank you again for your contributions to our special kids. And when you come sure. out with another app or you have something new, I hope you ring us up on Skype again and we get the full story from you. <laughs> thank you, Craig, for having me. And thank you, Autism Hangout. I'll be back again soon with something new and exciting so we can all thrive with autism. See you later.